Hey, praise the Lord. Today we're going to read about Paul, Apostle Paul. We're going to read Galatians chapter 1, and we're going to read Colossians chapter 1. Let's get started. Paul, an apostle, sent not from men, nor by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers with me, to the churches in Galatia, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to convert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let him be eternally condemned. As we have already said, so so now I say again, if anybody is preaching to you a gospel other than what you you accepted, let him be eternally condemned. Am I now trying to win the, the approval of men or of God? Or am I trying to please men? If I, if I were trying to please men, I would not be a servant of Christ. I want you to know, brothers, that the gospel I preach is not something that man made up. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism, how intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism beyond many, many Jews of my own age and was extremely zealous for the traditions of, of my fathers. But when, but when God, who set me apart from birth and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not consult any man, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to see those who, who were apostles before I was. But I went immediately into Arabia, and later returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to get acquainted with Peter and stayed with him 15 days. I saw none of the other apostles, only James, at, only James the Lord's brother. I assure you before God, that what I'm writing you is no lie. Later I went to Syria and Sicily. I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that I um that are in Christ. They only heard the report. The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he he once tried to destroy. And they praise God because of me. Okay. Let's go to let's go to um let's go read a little bit more. It's, uh, Galatians chapter two. Fifteen years later I went up again to Jerusalem, this time with Barnabas. I took Titus along also. I went in response to a revelation and set before them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. But I did this proudly to those who seemed to be leaders for fear that I was running or had run my race in vain. Yet, yet not even Titus who was with me was compelled to 
be circumcised even though he was a Greek. This matter arose because some false brothers had infiltrated our ranks to spy on the freedom we have in Christ Jesus and to make us slaves. We did not give in to them for a moment so that the truth of, of the gospel might, might remain with you. As for those who seem to be important, whatever they, whatever they were makes no difference to me. God does not judge by external appearance. Those men added nothing to my message. On the contrary, they saw that I had been entrusted with the task of preaching the gospel to the Gentiles, just as Peter has been to the Jews. For God, who was at work in the ministry of Peter as an apostle to the Jews, was also at work in my ministry as an apostle to the Gentiles. James, Peter, and John, those reputed to be pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. Mm. Mm. They, they, they agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the Jews. All they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing that I was eager to do. When Peter came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he was clearly in the wrong. Before certain men came from, came from James, he used to eat with, with the Gentiles. But when they arrived, he began to draw back and separated himself from the Gentiles because he was afraid of those who belonged to the circumcision group. The other Jews joined him in his hypocrisy so that by their hypocrisy even Barnabas was led astray. Mm. When I saw that they were not acting in line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Peter in front of them all, you are a Jew, yet you live like a Gentile and not like a Jew. How is it then that you force Gentiles to follow, follow Jewish customs? We are Jews by birth and not Gentiles. Uh, we who are Jews by birth and not Gentile sense know that a man is not justified by observing the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. So we too have put our faith in Jesus Christ that we may be justified by faith in, in Christ, not by observing the law, because by observing the law, no one will be justified. If, while we seek to be justified in Christ, it becomes evident that, our, that, that we ourselves are sinners. Does, does that mean that Christ promotes sin? Absolutely not. If I rebuild what I destroy, I prove that I am a lawbreaker. For through the law, I died to the law, so that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God for if righteousness could not be gained through through the law, Christ died for nothing. Okay, then, then let's go to Colossians chapter 1. I'm going somewhere with this. Let's go to Colossians chapter 1. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, Paul. Colossians chapter 1, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy our Father to the holy and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae. Grace and peace to you from, our, from God our Father. We always thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ when we pray for you because we have heard of 
your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all the saints. The faith and the love that springs from the hope that is stored up for you in heaven and that you have already heard about in the about in the word of truth, the gospel that has has come to you. All over the world, this gospel is bearing fruit and growing, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and understood God's grace and all is true. You learned it from Ephesus, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf and who also told us of your love in the spirit. For this reason, since this day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray that this is in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, knowing in the knowledge of God, be, being strengthened with all power and according to his glorious might that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of life for he has rescued us from the dump from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, rather thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from uh, from among the dead. And so in everything, he he might have, have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, better things on earth, or things in heaven by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you in Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, establish and firm, not move from the hope not move from the hope held out in the gospel this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of of which I Paul have become a servant now I rejoice in what was suffered for you and I fell up in my flesh what is lacking in regard to Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present you to the word of God in its fullness. The mystery has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the saints. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We proclaim him, admonishing him, and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may pre present everyone perfect in Christ. To this end, I labor struggling with all his energy, which is powerfully, which, which so powerfully works in me. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's stop right there. And let's go back to Galatians.
Let's go back to Galatians. To, um, as I was reading, I picked up on something. I don't know if y'all did, but it's the same thing. Let me pause this. Okay, I found it. Uh, the focus of uh, this message is Christ, the hope of glory. Christ live, lives in you. Uh, so, so let's focus on um, Galatians chapter 2, verse 19. Through 21. For, for, through, for through the law I died to the law so that I might live for God. And I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God for it. if righteousness could not be gained through the law, Christ died for it. nothing. And let's go to Colossians chapter 1 verse verse 27 to them who to them God to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The reason why I read all that and put the focus on those two scriptures is because Holy Ghost want to tell you, that you are chosen, you are called, you are ordained, you are ordained for ministry. Now you see how Paul said in Galatians, he didn't need to get the approval of men because God, because God directly called him, God directly chose him. Yeah, you, wait a minute. Okay, I'm back. I got it. I had a phone call. I'm sorry. Yeah. But you notice that the Apostle Paul said in Galatians, he didn't have to get, did he, he didn't get the approval of men. Matter of fact, he started a letter all said, Paul and Apostle sent not from men, nor a man, but by Jesus Christ. You know, and then he went, he went to Arabia. He went to Arabia and, and, um, and, 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 and then later returned to Damascus. And then after three years, so three years straight. At the at the three years three years straight, then he went to Peter. Then he went to then he went to Jerusalem and went to Peter. But 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 then he said he didn't go to none of the other apostles. So, this word is for y'all out there that uh, 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 people feel like you ain't called, you ain't chosen, um, you done mess your ministry up because of your past or because of what they know, know, know about, <laughs> they know what you did and you, they know what you did, did and they think that you not fit you not fit to be 
used to um to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a prime this is a prime example. This is a prime example that that's a stone faced lie. That God can use anybody. If he can use uh, uh, Paul the way he did when Paul was persecuting the Christians, you know, he can use any, he can use me, he can use you, he can use anybody. And the focus of this, uh, uh, um, focus of this message is Christ, the hope of glory, Christ living in you. Because you notice both scriptures said, said, said that, um, said that no, no longer is your old life no longer is is is, is by the law uh, uh, <laughs> no longer are you you uh, um 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 living no longer are you living by the law but you died died to the law and then you live by faith in the Son of God. So you living by faith and you living by grace. So Galatians chapter uh, 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 two and Colossians chapter one, verse twenty-seven. Those are two scriptures to focus on when God telling you. To go out and preach and go out there and spread the gospel and go out there and, 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 and uh, um, trust him, trust him to evangelize. That's proof right there. You don't need no seminary. You don't need no college degrees. You don't need no approval of a, a church. You know, that's proof right there that when God ordained you and called you to do something, you better do it. You better do it. You know, don't let your children, don't let your church home, don't let your neighbors don't let your 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 spouse don't let people on your job don't let your your so-called friends you know deter you from doing what your spirit what the spirit tell you to do you know and 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 like sometimes folk like they see they see the anointing on your life and they see something special, a special calling on your life, and they'll sometimes the devil will use them to discourage you, make you feel like, well, I don't have the money, you know, well, I don't have the transportation. Well, I don't have enough enough uh, uh, um support. I ain't nobody supporting. Well, I don't have enough exposure. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You don't see Paul saying none of that in none of that, none of those seeds of doubt in Galatians chapter one. You know, you don't hear him saying. Well, because Peter and them, you know, I didn't get no support from P P P P Peter. Oh, it and Peter, it, Peter was with Jesus, you know. 
uh, before the Lord died, and you don't hear nothing negative. As a matter of fact, he was bold enough to even pull, pull Peter up, saying that you being phony, you acting one way around the Jews, and you acting another way around the Gentiles. You know, that boldness right there for somebody that was, for Paul, somebody that's persecuting the church, and then he get called by God, and and uh, and, and uh, then he pull pull Peter up in front of everybody. That's that's what you call Holy Ghost boldness. That's what you call knowing what you know when you know it. You know, and standing flat foot, standing flat footed on your calling. You know, and not backing down on what God told you to do when he told you to do it. Yup. Read those two. Um, matter of fact, when you get the time, read the whole letters. Read the whole book of God. Not book, but read the whole letter to the Galatians and read the whole letter to the Lactions and watch that bless you. It'll bless your socks all. My spiritual mother years ago, back in the nineties, my spiritual mother Yvonne um, used to tell, uh, used to uh, um, uh, um, teach me uh, and, and, and mentor me based on Galatians chapter uh, um, one. You know, and, and, and um, she used to give me little. The, little tidbits and and advice based on that because she saw the calling she she, 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 she recognized how God was using me even back then and, and, and now church folk people in the church church folk they then was trying to quench my spirit they was labeling my they putting labels on me. They put labels on my uh, children at the time. They was throwing stones and judging, judging me based on me having kids out of wetlock and stuff, and based on what they knew. But my spiritual mother, even back then, she saw. Saw the special calling even back then, and then gradually, like gradually, God was using other people. After my spiritual mother had died, God was putting putting people, people like um people uh, 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 um in my life to plant little seeds, plant little seeds of encouragement, different uh, 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 um guest uh, um, spe speakers, um, guest preachers would uh, um, uh, um, prophesy over my life, and I would never forget it. Never forget it. And they would say stuff like, like I had to have the favor of God in my life, you know, or they would say stuff like, oh, you have a leadership of Moses, pick up your staff and walk, things like that. So, yeah, read those two uh, um, uh, um, letters and let it, let it minister, let it, let it minister to your spirit. Let it, in, let it encourage you, you know, Cause it's a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, uh, God didn't call me because I gotta get the permission of a, a pastor, or you know, or I gotta have a robe, you know, or I gotta be on a pulpit to spread the gospel, or I gotta, uh, uh, uh. uh Go through a church. I, 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 I gotta go through the institutional church 
to spread the word. You know, and that's not true. That is not that is not true. You know, keep it. I remember my spiritual mother uh, 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 said during New Life um, 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 class, keep it simple, saints. I mean, kiss. Keep it simple, you know. In other words, if you got a gift, you have a spiritual, like say for instance, I, 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 I have a gift of generosity. A gift of encouragement. I have a spiritual gift of encouragement and a gift of cheerful giving. You know, just just just, just giving giving from my heart with no strings attached. No 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 um you pay me back this no 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 I do it because I know God gonna bless me. God gonna bless me and the person that's getting the blessing, and it's gonna gonna move forward, and it's gonna bless my else, and then some my else will bless my else, you know. So that could be a small thing that you something that you doing behind the scenes. That's a small thing, but God sees it, you know, and that's ministry, you know. Like, say, instance, my gift bags that I do, you know, giving away a random extra kinds with the gift bags. That's a, a ministry. That ain't something like, oh, you know, you be seen, you got, you, 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 uh, 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 um, you know, be seen all on the pulpit, be, you know, be noticed, uh, 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 uh. That's something that you bless a man, you cry, cry out and give him a gift back and go on about your business, you know, or you get them, if you see somebody, see you hear somebody, they, they make an announcement that, that they want a sick and shut in list and you give them a call, you know, or somebody lost a loved one, give them a sympathy card, something like that, you know, or a poem, write a poem or something. Yup, yup, or, or give me a care package, you know, um, stuff that's thoughtful, letting you, letting them know that you love them and letting them know that God loved them and letting them know that you praying for them, you know, that's ministry, you know, so, I encourage you to read those two, read those two uh, 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 um, letters, and then wait for God to t wait for God to tell you, tell you uh, 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 what your spiritual gift is, or it could be multiple gifts. Wait for God to tell you where to go, how to. Do, do it, you know, uh, 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 and, and, and um, then when he tell you to do something, trust me, have Holy Ghost boldness, have confidence, you know, confidence in your ministry that it's not going to fail, it's not going, nothing going to mess up because God got your back, God got the ministry covered, God will provide. God will take care of everything that need to be done, done, and everything, take care of everything that need to be done for him to get the glory, for him to get the praise. Okay, let me get off of here. I was up here, um, kind of like cleaning up and stuff. Yeah, Clean, cleaning, cleaning this apartment up to dead, um. I'm waiting for the doctor, waiting for the, the the doctor from Total Healthcare to call me, that the um for this follow up appointment from the ER yesterday, yeah. So I've waiting, waiting all, waiting all uh, uh um uh, um 
morning. And now it's about to be the afternoon. Yup. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope what I said cut somebody. And yeah, I read. <laughs> you notice what I was reading? I ain't stuttered. Stutter is bad. Yup. I ain't, you know, was stammering and stuff. Okay, forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this um video with other people and um so they can get blessed too and so the algorithm and stuff go up. Yep. Okay. God bless y'all. Love y'all in the Lord.